best in the mod lights here in Queensland. About to let loose 20 laps of the journey, and it'll be Shawnee Rose to lead him away. And he's got the fast farmer from Dolby, Terry Lerenvelt, right beside him. Clinton Hansey and the Wild Thing will share row number two. Young Jackson, gee whiz, what a night he's having. And he's got the 74 right beside him of Sam Golshevsky. The number 115 of Tyson Snow with Chris Weir and the main freight machine beside him with Stevie Collins and Hooper right beside him as well. The number 68 machine there of Adam Bradford always looking stellar with Julian O'Neill. Steiny there in the six. Come on, young fella, get it up the front. And we are about to pull the trigger. 20 laps of journey as we go racing. Rosie leads them away down into one and two. Hansi already on the uh, on the go for the yellows are on. Starter not happy with that. John will pull him up. Just a little bit keen in the mod lights, Trev. Yeah, certainly are. As you uh, as you said, a little bit keen and. Uh, like you said before, didn't know there was a title on the line, but you never know. <laughs> uh, it's been a night of uh, absolute stellar could, racing, top shelf for the they, lights. Didn't they race for the COVID Cup last time? It was something? the COVID Cup, yep. Not sure what they're racing for tonight, but uh, it must mean something to somebody because they are putting on a hell of a show. Just watching uh, Corey Stein back here in the Frank's Garage number six machine. Watch him, a modified sedan superstar now driving mod lights. Watch him carve them up from the back end as they go green again. And as you would expect, the multi-time Australian champions, both Clinton Hansi and Terry Larenvelt, lead them a merry dance into three and four as they come across the stride for the first time. It'll be Hansi over Larenvelt Rose. Back to Chris Fing. That's the top four. Golshevsky in fifth place. He's got Chris Ware right on his hammer. The 229 of Timmy Jackson having a brilliant night tonight. Down across the stripe. Oh! Run around. There's chaos at the back. The 68 machine of Adam Bradford spins it right in the middle of the turn. And as we said, Trev, you just don't want to do that with everybody coming at you. Not at the start of a feature when there's 20-odd uh, cars. No, you don't. And unfortunately, Bradford's um, found out the expense of that couple of cars involved looks like they've all managed to get back underway and of course um, let's not forget with uh, super sedans on tonight Adam Bradford the next uh, super sedan racer if I'm not mistaken Clinton Hansi will lead the way over the fast farmer from Dolby Terry Lerenvelt back to Shawnee Rose and the wild thing Chris Fing he's got uh, Sam Golshevsky for company with Chris Ware Timmy Jackson back to Tyson Snow and Stevie Collins Good looking field, have a look at them, nose to tail. A full length of the straight, one lap in the book, 19 to run, let's go hammer down. Single file past the cone, Golshevsky trying to get a move on the wall thing. Can't make it happen this time, he's got to settle it back there now in the 74. Great camera work again from Alan Solit, picking them all up as they sweep through three and four. Oh, Lerenveld and Hansi side by side down across the stripe. Lerenveld comes out in front. Hansi will want to fight for this one. The gloves are off. It's a heavyweight duke out at the front. Both multi-time Australian champions. Lerenveld leads. Hansi right in the hat, right in the wheel tracks. Larenvelt doing a fantastic job. He's got about two car lengths at the moment over Hansi. Back to Sean Rose in third. He's got Golshevsky for company with the Wild Thing in the top five. Race cars right around the racetrack now here at Brisbane International Speedway. Steiny trying to get the number six back up the front. Watching him come from the back. Chris Fing just losing a little bit of ground now to Golshevsky. Meantime up the front, the fast farmer from Dolby. Oh, yellows are on. And that'll be Steiny, unfortunately, facing the wrong way in the six. Starting to put some good laps together in the number six machine. 
Clinton got a little bit wrong down in turn four there at one stage, and that's helped Larenville sort of gap the field, but still 15 left to run in this uh, Mod Light feature race tonight. Never over till it's over, Trev. As we go green, single file past the cone one more time. And the two protagonists pick it up where they left off. Golsheski having a look underneath Sean Rose. Can't get the job done out of turn number two. The first four starting to break away from the rest of the field. Larenveld leads over Hansi. Rose back to Golsheski. Little bit of a gap now back to Chris Fing. Then we go back to Chris Ware, who's got company from Tyson Snow, having a brilliant run in the double one five. Oh, it's untidy behind Stevie Collins, Dan Lewis, and Hooper in the 84 yellows. Oh yeah, Chris Ware it is. The 49 machine of Crowey facing the wrong way. Oh yeah, sorry Crowey. It's all right, we've called him all sorts of names tonight. I thought it was Hunter a little bit earlier tonight when he was up on two <laughs> wheels. The PWR 49 machine of Chris Crow. Once again, Archer Field, let's bring them home. Single fall past the cone. And the multi time Australian Mud Light champion leads the way. Terry Lerenveld down the back straight. Hansi and Rose. Rose on the top side, trying to put Hansi to the sword, doesn't work this time. Everybody sorting themselves out for position. Rose on the top side of Hansi, this time he gets him out of two. Sean Rose in the 56 machine. Now setting sail after Lerenveld, the Queensland champion. Hansi kicks the front left hand wheel off the ground. Trying to get some go forward to get second place back. Larenfeld starting to stretch the legs in the 25. Got a handsome gap now back to Rose there in second, who's still got Hansi right on his hammer for second and third. Golshevsky a long way back for fourth. He's got some chasing to do. Chris Thing. Back to Chris Ware and Tyson Snow. Here comes Hansi again on Rose. Hansi won't go away. Rose goes to the top side. Oh, problem for the 56. It sounds like a chaff cutter. He's got problems trying to get to the bottom side without balking anybody. Falling backwards. Hansi, still giving chase to Larenveld, who's in amongst the traffic. Hunter pulls the 45 to the infield. Race car starting to drop. Golshevsko, one over! Chris Ware, tumble, tumble! A big flip for the main freight 47. That was huge, Trev. Yeah, I didn't actually see it, Macker, until I turned around and the car was sort of perpendicular to the ground. Yeah, we caught the, Alan Solak caught the tail end of it. I just glanced up when I saw uh, Golsheski slow down the back straight. Yeah, he slowed down on the front straight. I think it uh, might be the same problem as Sean Rose. It's dropped a cylinder or two. Car's dropping like flies uh, with eight laps to run. And, oh, John just watching the replay at the moment. Keeping an eye on the monitor as John just rolls it back. And it looks like Golsheski slows coming out of the turn. Snow nowhere to go. Chris Ware moves up on the top side. And that is all she wrote. The main freight flip, flip, flip. And ends up on his lid. They have righted the car, folks. Yeah, the medico is just uh, checking Chris, making sure he's okay. I can see Chris moving around the car at the moment. So hopefully, uh, hopefully he's all, all is okay. Just checking to make sure that uh, he's climbing our face. Give him a round of applause.
Yeah, up and over. Alan Woods counting the flips. It was a five count, Trev. Yeah, that was a big one. He'll, uh, that'll have rattled his cage somewhat. Looks a little groggy as he stumbles across the racetrack there with the help of the first aid crew. And just ran out of racing room watching the video, mate. So. Yeah, I, dare, I dare say it's probably fairly winded as well. And that's one of the uh, the house cars, I do believe, or one of the, the uh, that Ian botches. The main freight 47 machine of Chris Ware was a wild, wild ride. Alan Solid. Yeah, plenty of damage on that. You got most of it, Al, if that's the question you're asking me, mate. Yes. Oh, Chris takes the helmet off. And the guys are told to restart. One of the true nice guys, Trevor. Chris Ware. And I can see Rosie's car. Is that Rosie's car parked just near the concrete? Down the other end, Al. Right in the middle of the concrete there, mate. Behind the grader. There we yeah, go. He's, yep. uh, Sean Rose. A little winded, I dare say, there, Macca. So the uh, Medico's just talking to Chris, making sure he is A-OK. -okay. They don't have to take him over to uh, the medical centre. So uh, we'll just leave them to uh, attend to Chris. Welcome to Four Wheel Racing, Tyson Snow. Can he run these two multi-time Australian champions down? Terry Lerenveld, the fast farmer from Dolby. The turf man. Clinton Hansey. The wild thing and the plumber, Dan Lewis. And have a look who's in the top five. He's having a stellar night, Timmy Jackson. As we go green, single file past the cone. Hooper right in amongst this as well. Stevie Collins, he's got Julian Ollie with him and the gas girl, Dakota Laverty in the 41. Meantime, up the front, five laps to run this time by. Lerenveld ticks off another one. It still isn't over, folks. Hansi, only about three car lengths behind at the moment. Have a look at him in the mid-pack, jostling for position. Tim Jackson having a ripper drive in the top five, the battle behind him. Here comes Stein, he wants to go three wide. Corey Stein in the six. Can he get them all? He's going for three for one, he can't quite get it, he'll take two. Sticks it on the outside, carries the front wheels. Hooper picks up him as well, and it's a bang, bang, wham, bam. Stevie Collins, Smith, and I think that's Chris Crow again, Trev, is it? Yeah, Chris Crow, innocent bystander in that, as was Smith. It all started down the bottom with Steve Collins, got sideways, and I'm just trying to think who got into the side of him. Might have been, um, I think it might have been. We thank you very much for the support each and every week. We go green, no mucking around, four laps to run. And Corey Stein finally starting to get a little go for it in the six, come from the back of the field, finds himself up there in the top eight at the moment. The battle up front, three laps left to run. The multi-time Australian champions, Terry Lerenveld and Clinton Hansey. Chris Fing and Dan Lewis, the battle for the bottom step. Two to run this time by Lavin, he's got a problem. She's pulled up the 41. Gets it going again, we stay green. Lerenveld shoots around the outside. Puts a car between himself and Hansi. One lap left to run 400 metres. The fast farmer from Dolby doing it in great style. Clinton Hansi getting a little bit bought by the 41. But it is all Terry Lerenveld. He will take the win. Lerenveld gets the checker over Hansi. Chris Fing hangs on to third from Lewis. Tim Jackson, well done son, he gets home for fifth. Warren Hooper, Corey Stein, great drive in the top seven. Julian Ollie, Callum Beeling, Adam Bradford, Joel Smith, Chris Crow, Dylan Hunter, Phil Gower, and Dakota Laverty will round them out. 
Oh, ladies and gentlemen, the Mod Lights turning it on at Brisbane's International Archerfield Speedway. Make some noise for Terry Lewenvelt. Oh, Trev, just a stellar drive. Each and every lap bringing excitement. And that's what it's all about in Mod Light Racing. Yeah, absolutely. As uh, we wait for Terry to climb out of the 25, as you say, the fast farmer from Dolby. And uh, he will have been loving the rain that we've been getting over the recent weeks as well. Help with the crops up there. Give me a round of applause, folks. Terry Larenveld, your feature winner tonight. Congratulations, buddy. Well done. Great job. Oh, There's thanks. your feature winner sticker. Yep, thank you. No, great, great night tonight. Track was great. Very hooked up, which is really good. And yeah, it's good to be back up here again. It was nice and close between yourself and Clinton on the front straightaway for that pass, but nice and clean. And uh, respect shown between two Australian champions. Yeah, it's a bit hard. I was on the select. We bumped a little bit. I don't like that. But yeah, it's racing. It's a bit hard sometimes. But yeah, I'd like to thank my wife Angela for coming and helping, Braden, Cody, Lindsay. Buddy, for coming down helping, and me mum and Jamie up on the hill. Mate, congratulations on your feature win tonight. In the, in, oh, well, uh, thank you. I'd like to thank my sponsors as well. Oh, Freddie Max Dolby, Pro Graphics, and um, yeah, I, I lost my head. I think <laughs> that's about it. It's all right, yeah. mate. You, you won the feature, doesn't matter. Congratulations. Yeah, thanks a lot. <laughs> there he is, folks. Give another round of applause. Jerry Larenveld. Ah. Uh,